Hey, it's day, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome if you're new here. I'm here to talk about a new fragrance that has been added to my collection, as well as a fragrance that's been added to my husband's collection, and I want to talk about both of them. Neither is brand new to the fragrance world. Ooh, yeah, not at all. So don't expect anything new. But I enjoy the, both of them and my husband likes both of them. So let's hop, skip, jump right into it. What am I talking about? I am talking about the Versace Dylan Blue Fragrances. Maybe I should just pop this out of the thing. I have no intention of... I think I'm going to house it in that box. But look at them. Isn't these... These are so nice. I I love them. They're like simple but cute with the nice color scheme thing. Anyway, let's do actually the men's first. So this is the Versace... De, uh, oh, blah, blah. Versace Dylan Blue Pour Homme. Main Accords of Amber, Citrus, Fresh, Spicy, Musky, Aquatic, Warm, Spicy, Woody, Fresh, Aromatic, and Smoky. I'm going to apply both of these to my skin because I'm going to be taking a shower after this. This is for men, but listen. Whether it says for men, for women, unisex, wear what you want, when you want to wear, how much of it you want to wear. I enjoy both of these. Spoiler alert. They're definitely quite different but in a very lovely way this one is a dark there's a darkness to this while still being fresh citrusy there's something a little green about the fragrance and it is a warm fragrance to my nose i absolutely adore the way this smells i do think that a lot of people would find this to be masculine however for me it's giving nighttime you, you could, I would wear this as is. However, if I wanted to do a little more pizzazz, make it a pinch more feminine, just a little sweetness. Just, just a little bit of sweetness. Now, that could come in the route of a sweet citrus fragrance to layer on top of this or a sweet fruity fragrance like maybe Kayali's Sparkling Lychee or Eating Jap Juicy Apple 01. Or this could be like add some vanilla sweet type of thing like... Uh, vanilla 28 or escapade gourmand this might even work pretty dang good with baccarat uh barricade gentle gold or gentle fluidity gold those type of things i, I think that uh, let's talk about the notes so the top notes are bergamot water notes grapefruit and fig leaf middle notes are ambroxan black pepper patchouli violet leaf where are you going and papyrus and base notes are incense musk tonka bean and saffron now, the saffron is in the base of this, so, so perhaps that's why I don't smell it yet. I'm not smelling that super wispy smell that comes typically, that su like wispy, sweet, like synthetic -y sweet, like perfection that typically comes with a note of saffron. I would not say this is a spicy fragrance. I do think it has a little spice to it that's probably coming from the black pepper. It is, there's a green texture to this, for sure. I wouldn't say it's overtly green. You're not like sniffing grass or a bush, but it's there. And it's relatively prominent. The citrus notes take up a hefty portion of this, along with what I believe to be the patchouli, the violet leaf, and the papyrus with a couple drops of incense. There is a clean vibe to this. But it doesn't just give, I soaped myself and didn't wash it off and stepped out of the shower with the soap. It doesn't give that. It doesn't give that. It's it's a clean, fresh, slightly incense -y. It's not super smoky. It almost gives it like a depth, like a warmth. Because with the warmth you would expect in it, you would think there'd be amber, but there is not amber in here. There's that tonka bean and the incense. And I think they come together to warm up this fragrance. I love this so much. I love it so, so much. I feel like this would even work nicely layered with Delina La Rose. Absolutely perfection. I would say 8.8 out of 10. 
you know i can't speak to the longs yet like i said these are newer and i'll come back later on to give you my more a little bit more of an in-depth review after wearing them a few times and i'll get my husband to tell me about when he wears it and how he feels like longevity wise that is but let's move on to the next one this is the versace dylan blue pour femme main accords of fruity floral green rose fresh woody sweet i'm gonna keep it a buck with you i wore this today this is giving me a fruity clean slightly sweet vibe that has touches of oh woodiness i think this would layer quite well with um chanel's chance au fresh the little toilette top notes of granny smith apple black currant clover forget me not <laughs> it's giving sailor moon shiso middle notes of peach patalia rose hip rose and jasmine and base notes of musk whitewood styrax and patchouli i also think this is going to end up layering quite well with uh mystique bouquet by afnan or what it's doing you know okay so this is a much fresher floral take i love this it's giving very much feminine clean it's not like you soaked yourself but there's a more soapier touch to this without pissing me off you know how there's some where i like i said you literally soaked up yourself with unscented soap and just stepped out of the shower no cleansing no like no rinsing off and that smell i don't like it there's some things like that i do like bubble bath um by mason margella but it's kind of hard for me to like a super clean set you have to do it very well and they tend to be sharp nothing about this is sharp although this is a this is a bouquet of florals in here I, the black currant is not heavy. This is not giving C intense. This is not even giving C black currant. This is this is just slightly sweetening up this fresh and clean floral vibe. It's giving everything feminine. It's giving clean girl aesthetic. It's giving even like the maybe like a boho type of vibe or like the the lady that like the woman that has a cottage. And maybe owns like an acre or a couple acres and just frolics through the fields and her husband does like manual labor and he's one of those strong silent very sweet types to his woman but will if you look at her wrong type of vibe this the patchouli as well as this white woods in the base is a winning thing like combo to add to a fragrance that has a lot of florals i'm not sure what forget me not let's go click on forget me not because i don't think i yeah I, I don't it's not even i think i know i don't have a fragrance with forget me nots in it it's a fantasy note with transparent green fresh nuances this is so lovely i feel like the florals they click like they put in here we're not anything obnoxious. Rose hip is a fruity note, a rosy fruity note. And peach and musk, as we know, is working very well together for now. Like that is what is in Mystique Bouquet. I'm just gonna layer that and just see. I don't wanna put too much. yes gives it just a little more fruitiness when you want that fresh and clean vibe that's got a little razzle dazzle super floral not headache inducing not obnoxious i would go with dylan blue especially if it comes to like springtime this is giving heavy on the spring this is giving you're growing you you, you have your plant starter thing and now you're growing um your little veggies from scratch before you plant it outside because at nighttime sometimes there's still a little frost so you don't want to play just yet but spring is here because during the day it's warm enough for a light sweater 
you know what I mean? Don't forget to that, hit that like button because, yeah. I'd like to hear your opinions and thoughts on them. I'm going to give this like a solid 9 out of 10. It's just one of those things that I think you can't go wrong grabbing. I would even wear this, I feel like, in the summertime. Neither of these are giving like, oh my gosh, I've never smelled anything like this in my life. Or, holy cow, this is niche smell. Like, it's not giving that. What it is giving is both are very much pleasant and pleasing both can work together if you want a his and her fragrance honestly either fragrance can be worn by either gender although this leans slightly more feminine to me because of so many florals with like a slight fruity nuances to it and then this one that leans slightly masculine just because the greenness makes it this is so nice the soapy smell vary between the two like the soap I use versus the hot soap my husband uses is kind of what I'm getting here. Like, a little bit more of the soap I use, a little bit more of the soap my husband uses. But they're both fantabulous. Let me know what you guys think of these. Do you guys have either one or both in your collection? Did you feel like they were too boring to add to your collection? Because I do feel like that's, like, a thing that's just going on in the fragrance community. And it's understandable because a lot of the fragrance YouTubers I watch talk about some... 400 plus fragrances in their collection which is insane right how do you impress somebody who has some people's graduating class in the you know what i mean like the your graduating class is the amount of fragrances that they own like like that's intense um it's 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 wild it's giving you could give away you could have a you can get married have a wedding and give away one fragrance to each person right for the average amount let's say that's 200 people you invite to your wedding okay or 200 people come to your wedding i should say you can give away each person a fragrance and still have well over the average consumers like fragrance amount in your collection like that's blows my mind so i can see how things like this would be not impressive to them to me i really love it and i think that it is worth the coin to purchase it you can get the poor femme guys i think the price point is is pretty dang good joma shops got it for 45 dollars for the smaller one and 75 dollars for the big one this is the 100 ml that my husband bought this for me and he always buys the big bottle because he's like, it's only $25 or $40 cheaper. I'm like, if you don't put that gas in your car, but I'm happy I had this in a bigger bottle because I, I can still smell it on myself. But I think after about three and a half hours, it starts to get much closer to the skin, which is not the end of the world because as it gets hotter, I think it's going to last on average around the four and a half to five hour mark, which is fine to me because you reapply. Um, you can also get this on Max Aroma 48. That must be the smaller bottle. Macy's will sell, sell the bigger bottle for one to eleven, and the smaller bottle for ninety dollars. So it really depends. But there are other oh fragrance that has it for seventy. Seven items, so they must have a bunch of sizes. So the bigger bottle must be seventy. So what what a uh, well under the hundred dollar mark. You can get a bigger bottle for this, and you're still getting the name brand if that matters to you. Getting a nice bottle, you're getting um, a nice, a reasonable performing fragrance, and you know you're going to smell fresh, clean, slightly sweet, floral, feminine esque type of fragrance. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this whole video. Let's talk about these fragrances down in the comment section. I think this is the prime time to be wearing fragrances like this. Anyway, hopefully, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.